Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, signings have been made. Admittedly, championship signings. We are currently sitting in 10th place with one win, two draws and one loss. And today we play our first two games as Brighton and Hovalvian manager against Everton and then Chelsea. Now the Everton match we're feeling quite confident about, you know, they're down in 19th place. Chelsea, we'd, we'd be happy with the point. Hey guys and welcome back to the second episode of the FM21 Jurgen Klopp Challenge with Brighton where today we are playing our first two league games against Everton and then Chelsea. Two difficult games early on but considering the fact that Everton have only gotten one point out of their first four games maybe we could be in luck there. Before we jump into those two games make sure you do smash the like button on today's episode as well as subscribing to the Racks or FM YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the future uploads that's coming your way with daily football manager videos with this series as well as some transfer guides here and there. Can we please smash 10 likes no 12 likes on today's video you did awesome at smashing the like target last episode can we make sure that we do it again i'm making an estimated guess that you smashed the like target i'm actually not sure this is very much pre-recorded but since last time we saw each other all i've done is made sure that all the players that we have are registered we've got pearson in there we've got we've got uh ben foster in there and queen in there even though he's under 21 so he didn't actually need to be registered and we've set up our squad getting ready for this game against everton and it's ready to go. There's not, nothing more that I can do apart from start this game of football and hope that we start our managerial career with an absolute bang. And it's five at the back, as I said last time. I think if it's not working against this Everton side, I'm probably not going to continue using it. I mean, it, it might be better against the big clubs, but I don't know. It's an experimental system for me. It's an experimental system for you probably and uh we, we'll just go with the flow see what happens here but this is the starting lineup for our first game because basuma unfortunately is out with an injury not quite fully fit to come back into the lineup just yet so we've had to adjust the lineup for that and i'm actually kind of happy with the way it's worked out so we've got in between the sticks ryan then dunk webster and white in the center back positions i think that those three will Pretty much lock down those three positions as long as we stay with the three at the back formation. Bernardo and Lamptey as well. Complete first choice left and right backs. Then we've got proper Lalana at central midfield and McAllister playing in the cam role. And I actually quite like playing this man instead of Lalana in the cam role. Because if we look at his ability at playing the attacking midfielder on attack duty, which is what I like to use in Football Manager this year, he very much suits this style of play. However, if we go over to Lalana and we put on attacking midfielder attack, there's a lot of good points, but there's also a lot of negatives. Finishing and long shots, it's, yeah, it's not ideal. So he wouldn't exactly be scoring a lot of goals from there, whereas McAllister, I think, just nudges it in that department. So I'm happy that he's playing in the cam position and Lalana's slightly deeper in the box of box midfielder, but still hopefully creating some good attacking opportunities. Trossard up top with Mope didn't find that striker. Adam Armstrong would have been perfect, and I've just hit my table and it kind of hurt. So if you heard that noise, you'll understand why now. As well as a very stacked bench, plenty of super sub options. Ben Pearson and Queen are also looking to make their debut today. Ben Foster, I'm not going to lie to you, mate, probably not going to be starting too many games straight off the bat. Although, I think he's a great signing, a rotation option, as well as the fact that he can come in if Matt Ryan isn't having a great day at the office or just out of form. So let's jump into the first game of this entire series. We'll give Ben Foster number, I don't know, what, what number does Ben Foster normally have? I'll give him 40 because it's, I don't know, I don't know why I've given him 40. 22 for Pearson and 19 for Queen. They all sound like they make some sort of logical sense to me but it doesn't really matter if they make logical sense to me as long as we get the win on the pitch today i mean i don't think that the squad numbers are actually going to affect that very much but i'm expecting a win today let's jump into it and i am straight away going to get rid of tunnel interviews when i go into the managerial stuff after this game and and also you know it's the first game of the series you know i haven't messed it up because we are watching it on key highlights at the moment and not on slightly faster it's it, it bothers me to my core do I, do I have it here or here i think i have it here 
let's go with that. I don't think it's an actual attacking opportunity. Although, we're knocking the ball around all right. Almost got a chance to break on through early on in that game. But unfortunately, not quite happening for us there. But this is actually a key highlight now. We've changed the settings and it's Richarlison running away with the ball. So it could be Everton attacking us. We all know the ability he's got after the World Cup and after the Olympics. But it's us with the shot at the end of it. And Mopay puts it just wide of the post. And that is a great early sign that we are going to create attacking opportunities with this formation. However, I would have liked that one to go in the back of the net. Mopay, it's... um. Yeah, you're kind of our key striker, mate, and that was a great opportunity to go 1-0 up. But the chance isn't over yet. I mean, I mean that chance is over, but, but this chance is well and truly on as we could be getting a penalty. Now, if you've been watching the series and this channel for a while, you'll know I hate this in Football Manager because you never know if it's going to be a penalty or not. Half the time it's not, even when it looks like a penalty. This time it isn't a penalty. So, again, Football Manager... It's a new save, they're still mugging me off, still trying to make me look like an idiot and still wasting precious hours of our lives. But we've got a ball into the mixer here and the head has just gone over the bar. And 30 minutes into this game, I cannot complain with the way the system is working. Although we have conceded two shots, the XG is only 0.08. So they haven't created many opportunities. We've created some serious chances that we've seen. No shots on target, but I think that, that goes down to the players that we actually have within the system more than the system itself but i'm going to say i'm happy with the performance so far i think if we keep knocking on the door like we have been in this first half it will only be a matter of time before we knock it down and let's make sure it does happen in this highlight here white moving over to webster the center back trio is it's linking up and it's working an absolute treat as lamptey has it on the right hand side running through the spot and is he going to find a shot at the end of it no way Lamptey was going to score our first goal of the save. I mean, it would have been a brilliant goal. He made a brilliant run from the right back position. It hasn't quite happened for him. And now I'm slightly concerned as we actually see Everton attacking and they've hit the woodwork, but almost scored on the rebound. Thank goodness Richarlison does not have his finishing boots on today. But to be fair, neither do us. And they've now had a lot more shots than us coming out of the gate straight away in the second half, looking like a very good side. And I'm thinking it needs to change, and I think the system needs to change. So we're going to go to the 4-3-3 with, um, with, a, with, a, with a cam, and, and, and actually I haven't set it up in any way, shape, or form. So I'll, I'll do this off camera. I'll give you a minute. All right, now the system is looking a lot better. We've got Mopay up top, Trossard out on the left-hand side now, and Quina has come in for Webster on that right-hand side, four at the back. Slightly more attacking. You know what? We're not even going balanced. We're going positive here. We want to come away with the win. Let's do it. I think that that five at the back definitely looks like it's going to work. Perhaps against slightly more difficult opponents, it could help us defend a wee bit more solidly. Solidly? Solidly? You know what I'm trying to say. But the attacking opportunities have already come our way after changing to this more attacking formation. And we've almost scored there. A great save by Jordan Pickford. And I don't want this to be a problem in this save. When you can't score in Football Manager... It feels like trying to get blood out of a rock. It is not a fun save to be playing if you don't have the tactical setup to be scoring goals. And normally that isn't a problem in my saves, but it's looking like it's a problem. In today's episode, as Calvert Lewin sprays it just wide of the post, and with only 10 minutes to go, if one of the teams score here, it's surely going to be a winner. And I'm going to make a tactical substitution to try and make sure that we are the team. And it's going to be that guy well back playing out on the left-hand side. Super sub, if you've ever seen one. We're also going to bring... Who's not having a great day at the office? I can't even see all my tablet going on here. Okay, um, could someone explain to Football Manager that even when it... Yeah, okay. No, can't see the ratings, but that's fine. Um, We see Lalana having a pretty bad day at the office. And to be fair, he's not really suited to that box-to-box -box midfielder role. So I am going to bring him off. I'm going to bring Ben Pearson on for his debut and move Proper into that position. That was what I was considering doing to start this game and having Lalana at camp. I thought that McAllister would do better. He's actually gone the 6.9 rating. Not a bad performance at all. And we're seeing one last highlight here. And it is McAllister on the ball, running forward, trying to find some space. Plays it over to Welbeck. He's a super sub, but he cannot finish it there. And I think the offside flag was up anyway. And I think that we're ending this game nil all. A very exciting affair. And certainly an affair that shows us a lot of encouragement for our side, but not the three points that we desperately wanted here. 30 seconds to go. There could be one last attack in this if Ben White can get it forward quickly. Or, or he could just stand there and run down the clock because it's not like we want some point. Ben, 
No, seriously, Ben. Like, you've done this for a good 15, 20 seconds. We we want one more attacking opportunity. Put it forward. Try and get a ball into the mixer. It's not happening. We've got a nil draw there. Dunk with, I imagine, the man in the match there. Unless the Everton player did better up. Could have checked that, but don't worry about it. I'm still happy with the performance out there. First game, not a terrible performance at all. And, and oh, yeah, these, these tunnel, tunnel interviews are going out the window. However, it's not going to get easier from here. The Chelsea game is going to be a challenge, to say the least. And, and I think a good target for this season. I haven't even talked about that personally, because we need to win the Champions League. And we need to win the Premier League within five years. I'd like to get some sort of European football out of this year. We have a good team, and if I make some good transfers in January, I think we can do that. If I use the right tactics, we can do that. I'd like to get some sort of European football, even if that is seventh place scraping at the bottom of the barrel with some sort of Europa League too. That's my goal. It's a very big goal. It's a goal that I'm not certain I'm going to achieve, but it's a goal that I'm going for anyway. And my goal for this game against Chelsea... Another nil all draw would be nice, boys and girls. We're ready to go for the second game of our professional career as Brighton manager. And we've moved down to 11th place. However, if we get a point here, we stay in 10th place. This is impressive stuff from me, boys and girls. We are versing Chelsea, though, if I haven't mentioned that enough. And this is the team that we're going with for it. Basuma is back into the lineup. Before I actually go over to the squad, we have managed to sign another player. Some of you might have seen him in the transfer like section negotiations he's a free signing that we've made just because i wanted a reserve right back and he fits the bill he's able to play as right back right wing back and he's only being paid 5k per week i think it's a pretty good deal for someone that is just a bit of backup for lamp because currently we don't actually have another right back option apart from not, not even solly hill march march where did the hill come from solly hill march I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of that, actually. That sounds about right to us. But the only other player that can play even wingback is, is March. And he's not even a, a, a normal wing. We don't have many wingback options is what I'm trying to say. So we've managed to bring this man in. Great cover. Now we can go over the score. We've got Basuma back in. We're playing Lallana as an advanced playmaker. Uh, no, we didn't score a lot of goals against uh, Everton. In fact, we didn't score any goals. However, we did keep them out, and that is the important thing against this Chelsea lineup. So everything else is the exact same, and we're going into this game, hoping that we can get a goal against the run of play, maybe just have some sort of ability. This is really going to be a test, and it will tell us how good we are in terms of the rest of the teams, in terms of, you know, actually top draw quality teams. And straight off the bat, we have an opportunity. Is it going to be coming our way, though? I, I'm not completely confident it will be, but we're still on the ball, and that's a positive sign. Proper playing it all the way back to Ryan, and if you've watched the channel for a while, you'll know that when you play it back to the goalkeeper, it's a sign that you're, be, you're going to be scoring a goal. I don't think it's going to happen, because we have lost the ball here, and if anything, it, it might be a sign that, that Chelsea are going to score a goal here, and Werner has managed to add the shot at the end of it, but it's great save by Matt Ryan. And, yeah, early on... I guess you could say we're on the back foot, and maybe a Gagan press tactic isn't the way to go against sides like Chelsea. But we're still getting familiar with the the way we want to play, and they're almost getting another attacking opportunity here. Actually, this yeah, good. We ended it. That's all we needed to see, and they've got another shot off camera. I think this could be a bit of a defensive effort from our boys. Let's let's see some attacking opportunities though. Let's see a shot. I don't even need to see it. I need to just see it on the statistics page please give us some sort of hope that we might be able to fight in this game and Werner's head has just gone wide there he's acting like he does in real life just missing great opportunities and I'm not going to complain because he is their central striker so if he could actually keep doing that for the rest of the game it would be really ideal for us because yeah we're not creating many attacking opportunities are we boys and girls I'm starting to think maybe this isn't working but we've just got a free kick and we had a shot and it's gone just over the bar that's two shots for us i was starting to panic i was thinking it wasn't working but we just had a highlight two shots on the board and we could even get another opportunity here i mean it is looking likely that it's going to be chelsea's chance chill will win the box moving it over but webster he clears it out as equator on the right hand side whipping a ball in we clear it out once again you know we're, we're defending well here it's a formation that is clearly helping our defense to be fair it's a team that has a very good defense so can we see a bit of counter-attacking play because of that? 
I think we're seeing a counter-attack. Lalana moving forward. We've got pace up top. Play it over to Mope. Mope is one-on-one -on -one with the... Oh, he didn't quite have the pace in Mindy. It's a quite a comfortable save. I thought he was going to absolutely pace the defender there. But he didn't quite turn on the Jets the way that I thought he did. But that is a decent, promising half. We've defended very well. We've managed to have a couple of attacking opportunities. Two highlights that we've actually seen. So I, I consider that a, su a successful first half. And uh, already looking at some players looking a wee bit tired in the second half. And I think Proper is actually going to be a really crucial player in this save. So I might need to bring him off to make sure we do have fresh legs. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Because that deep line playmaker on defensive duty does a lot in connecting the attack with the defense. As well as just making sure that we don't concede too many goals. So we're going to bring Pearson on for yet another appearance. He's, he's doing great to get as many chances as he has. And uh, hopefully he can do something good in the second half of this game. Only 25 minutes ago. And before the game I said I'd take a nil all draw. It's not the best content for you boys and girls. You know, no goals in the first episode, which doesn't exactly sound brilliant, but it, it, it hasn't happened. We've, we've seen goals in the first episode, and it's a goal to Kai Havertz, and we've been holding them out for so long. The game is not over yet, though. We've still got another 25 minutes to go in this one. That is a really good finish, isn't it? And it's un unfortunate that there's just been a wee gap that's opened up. Hit it first time, top corner, nothing Matt Ryan can do about it. And only 20 minutes to get something back into this game. Come on, who's who's going to be the man to step up? I don't know if it's going to be any of the people on the pitch. So I'm going to make another substitution. It's going to be McAllister to come on for Lalana, who hasn't impressed me so far. And I'm going to try McAllister as a shadow striker. And I'm thinking moving positive might be the way to go. I'm already thinking about switching up the formation as well, though. Now, I think this is working all right. A 1-0 loss is not a terrible result. However, it's not exactly showing us Europa League form, is it? And five minutes ago, it doesn't look like we're exactly attacking them, but we do have a highlight now. That, that I, I was confident. I was cool, calm, and collected with the formation. We have lost the ball, though, and it's very much looking like it's going to be Chelsea's attacking opportunity. Have it, but it's intercepted. Bernardo's running forward. Play it into someone. Don't shoot yourself. Don't shoot yourself. He shot himself, but it doesn't matter because it's ended up in the back of the net. It's come off the goalkeeper, and it's bounced off to Trossard, and he cannot miss from that sort of range. And straight away, I'm moving back down toward a balanced mentality. And this, this is the best of both worlds. We're getting a point here, which is exactly what we wanted. And you guys have seen goals. Two of them, in fact. That, that's like one a game on average, even though it was two in one game. But we'll still take it. Are we going to be getting the result, though? Four minutes of additional time. I don't want to see any highlights. We're seeing a highlight, but it's ours. Are we scoring a hit of final minute? Oh, I thought we were about to score a hit of final minute, but it's still our ball, actually. Dunk over to McAllister. McAllister, whip the ball and don't lose it. Please don't lose it. Don't let Chelsea have an attacking opportunity this late. And Pearson's lost it. Barbaraman running forward, plays it into Werner. He's missed opportunity so far today, and he misses another one. And I was excited there for a minute. I really did think that we were going to score a goal in the final seconds. But it's Chelsea attacking now. It's gone over everyone. I think away from home, we have just managed to get a 1-0 draw against Chelsea. And that shows a bit of ability, a bit of composure, and a bit of quality from the side. We've done well to avoid defeat out there. We've managed to stay in 10th place at the end of this episode. Get in. That's, that's brilliant for me. You know, goal difference the exact same. I mean, the points tally is two more, but the position in the league is the exact same. That, 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 maybe we should have won that game against Everton, but it's actually a decent first episode, and it gives me a lot to think about tactically. This five at the back it's clearly working to a degree. The familiarity, familiarity isn't up there very much. The familiarity with all of my formations aren't great. But this one, I don't know. Do I keep going with it? I don't think I keep playing Lalana. Like there's just he's got a lot of ability and a lot of great stats, but he doesn't fit in with any of the roles I really like to play. Like he'd actually be quite a good winger, like a, a right winger, just just playing him on wing role because he's got good dribbling, decent crossing. But anything else, just just not really what we need in the squad. So, yeah, I might I might be dropping him and bringing McAllister in for a couple more games because he has been great off the bench. Getting a, an assist in this last game against Leeds United and then and then a seven point one rating against Everton. He did well against Chelsea. I mean, proven his point definitely, and we're proving a point here with the squad. 
I think we've done well. I think that's a very successful first, a second episode, but very f successful first episode with games in it. And if you guys are enjoying the series so far, make sure that you do smash the like button as well as subscribing to the Rex FM YouTube channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers at some point in the future, ideally before FM22. It's a it's an ambitious feat, but we'd like to do it. And I'm going to have to play a lot of games off camera. But let's try and make sure that we give myself a wee bit of luck as I go ahead to do it. So I think I play about, I generally play about five games off camera. So you're missing some quality ones against Manchester United and Arsenal, to be honest. I apologise for that. But you're going to be coming back for, oh, you got some, you got some absolute worldies here. Southampton and Newcastle. Oh. Look forward to that, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, as I said before, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Once again, I support. The support is incredible. I'll see you all later.